here's that tutorial I was talking about um, how I did the uh, stone work really nothing to it um, tools I use usually just uh, exacto and I've got this uh, sculpting tool that I use rounded edge got this beveled edge and a point sometimes I use a box cutter whatever um, and I use this blue foam you notice with this blue foam I got these strips here it's got this finished edge which is where they print everything on that edge doesn't you, you can't indent or texture that very well. I don't know how they finish those edges. I don't know if that's done through a melting process or what, but that's why I always cut these into strips because this inside edge is much, I mean, you sit here and look at this. I mean, I mean there, is some, um, there is some texture left behind with that, but not near as much as pressing it into this. It dents up much easier on the inside. So that's why I use that for my rock structures, the inside. Um, so I'll show you how I went about doing this, and that's actually you can look at that diorama I did and see the, which I tried to disguise some but failed. Um, you can kind of see the strips that are that's made out of. Um, it's just a scrap piece of foam. Um, just got a cut your stones in there um, you can make these rounded or or as square as you want you can do bricks you can do them very odd shaped and that's basically all I'm doing just cutting these uh, indentions in here so that'll be far enough for that. And then let's say I want to put some gaps in here. I just go in and make small slices and take the exacto and tear chunks out of it. This will give you good gaps in between the rocks. Just do that here too. You just gotta chunk them out. You can if you really want to get texturing wise, I mean you can tear this stuff off with your finger and make natural looking stones. You can just tear this stuff with your finger and it'll do natural. This will make more of a natural stone look if you wanted to make a uh, just a wall that, uh, like a landscape type thing. You do is tear at it and it'll leave you more of a natural looking stone. But for this purpose of this, we're just doing it this way. Um, this beveled edge is good for defining these edges. Like you can just run this beveled edge in there and make those those cuts just that much deeper and you can widen them up to give yourself much more of a defined look as far as like that and, and this makes them more defined then the round edge or you can take this and you can take this point here and go into these sharp corners which you don't necessarily want and just push them in this rounds it off at the corners making the corners less round or make them more round pardon me uh, versus being so sharp and whatnot, unless you want that sharp look. I mean, it's all again, it's all your your taste. Um, but you can texture it and shape it the way you want. Then to get that rounded look, I just take this rounded end and just score the uh, edges of this. And it's basically, all you're doing is just denting the foam, and this will take. And that's and if you notice. When I get to the edge, I don't know how easy it'll come through. This edge is not as dented. Like I was talking about, here's that finished edge. Now you can sit there and stab at it all you want, but it doesn't dent as easy. So you notice these indentions look much deeper. So if you're careful, you can put a slight indentation to this part so it'll match this out here. This stuff will start to crack if you try to really push at it. You'll get cracks and splinters in it. So you just got to be careful with the stuff. And like I said, just go around and uh, just rounding off the stones. And the more you round it off, the and, uh, yeah. So that's basically it. And that's basic technique I did to the entire wall. And as you, the whole wall expands out from there. Um, like I said, you can tear chunks out of this to make it more drastic, you can tear big holes, if you want big 
gaps in the wall. I mean, you can really, and then as far as texture goes, um, you, like I said, of course this will dent, so you can take this and put some, uh, some texture in by simply rubbing this uh, on here like this. This will rough it up when you go to dry brush it. Or uh, I had this uh, trap I bought at a um, local store that's used for uh, putting poison in, and you put it out in your garden or whatever, and it uh, and like uh, things like ants and whatnot will get in there and it'll drag the poison back to the nest and kill them all. But uh, I took out the trap part of it, and using this texture here, if you press it in there, you can uh, get that stone roughed look out of your. Uh, start to take on some of that texture that you uh, from the stone. Another good thing is a really rough grit sandpaper. I don't have any on me at the time. At this time uh, the roughest stuff I have isn't actually all that great um, but this stuff has got a real 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 coarse texture. If you just press it onto it it's good for bricks because it's not it doesn't have a lot of uh, texture to it. If you just lightly push it not hard enough to dent with your finger unless you're looking for big finger indentions and if so then go ahead and press away but press it lightly into the with the sandpaper and this like I said this is the heaviest grit I have and this isn't really good enough but what you do is in this just pressing it in there you don't want to sand and then that would be transferred onto the material and you can barely see this stuff but I'm talking about a much much coarser sandpaper than this once you get to this point as far as texturing you can like I said you can texture the hell out of this as much as you want and, uh, and from there, um, you also can put in, uh, you know, just little abnormalities, like cracks or whatnot. And if you go to points like this or at these corners, you can drag in uh, cracks and dents and stuff like that. And you can stab at it to put little porous holes and whatnot in it. And this is all I did with my wall is just putting little holes and, and you're left with something that looks like that when you paint it up um, all the te all the detail and stuff will start to come out of it and that's how I did the entire wall was just doing this here it's an easy technique and so um, I'll I'll use a different I had to re go back and re film this part so I'll be using a different part for the uh, I'll be using the original thing I worked on for the painting uh, the first uh, video for some reason got corrupt so I had to go back and refilm this part as far as showing off how to texture and everything but um, yeah that's about it hope it helps out and we'll see you with, with paint part all right it's not completely dry but I'm gonna get back to this um, what I've done here is I've made up a wash which is nothing but paint and water and that's why I don't have to worry about getting down in the cracks too bad because what we're going to do is go in and give this a quick wash anyway. And what all that's going to do is go down into those cracks. And then uh, that will uh, fell in. And I don't have to worry about um, the blue peeking through. When that dries up, it'll, it'll, like I said, it'll seal all the way down into all those cracks. dry brush the stone it'll all uh, come up nicely okay I had to change uh, my uh, position my camera I had to plug it in the cord's not real long um, it's pretty much dry so really on a base of some of the paint here go with like some brown stones here base of some brown here and uh, then we'll start dry brushing up from here this will be a real dark coat barely see it and we'll go too much lighter tone here dry 
dry brush on it. The lighter brown. It's kind of a muddied brown color. Not real fond of that color. I probably should have gone with gray or something. But uh, anyway, that's some basically brown stone of some kind. Um, let's be done with any color really. That's just brown as an example. I've got uh, there's that original piece I did with uh, before I did the master's wall experimenting. In the green. Again, it's just blue foam done the same way. Carved out chunks and holes out of it. Here's a uh, gray stone which has got a lot more flat rounded off and it's uh, flatter, not quite as deep a texture to it. And I started working on some bricks just to play around. <coughs> some brick work. It's basically the same way, just instead of the shapes, you just straight. So. Um, but that's that's basically it. Got any questions? Let me know.